In PD, when we want to work with movie files and texture a movie file or a video file to a shape, we do it in the exact same way that we did with an image file, except instead of using the pix image object, we use the pix film object. So I'm going to add the pix film object here, um, go to my put menu object, um, pix p i x underscore film. What this object does, it will texture a QuickTime movie or an AVI or a video file to my shape. So just like Pix image, I have to tell PixFilm what um, movie I want to open. So I'm going to do this by using the bang open panel open dollar one message that we've used before. So I'll go to my put menu, put bang, and then I'll put my open panel object as a recap open panel um, opens the file browser to allow me to find the movie um, the movie file that I want to use I'm going to give it the message open dollar one again the dollar one acts as a variable um, allowing me to open are accepting the file name that I give it and opens that file name. So the dollar one will change value depending on what file name I give it. So it just accepts the file name that I choose in the browser window. So I'll do this now. Bang open panel. I'm going to find a movie on my in my documents. My documents go to my videos and I'll find a movie clip here. In general, AVIs work better in PD and GEM on a on a PC, and QuickTime files work better on in PD on a Mac. So we can see that I've loaded a movie, but it's not playing, and this is because I actually have to give it a message to tell it to start playing. So to do this, I give it the auto dollar one message. So put message auto dollar one um, I connect that to PixFilm as well um, and I have to put a toggle to turn it on or off so I put toggle and I'll turn on this auto dollar one or off so go to play mode control E and I'm going to turn it on and my movie is playing. I turn it off by hitting my toggle and my movie stops playing. So control E, edit mode. I'm going to tidy this up a bit because there's something else I want to show you. Um, and this is the cold inlet of PixFilm, which is this inlet here. If I put a number box here, so put number I can scroll through the frame by frame of my movie or each frame of my video so I'm going to go to play mode control E and then I'm going to change the numbers in the number box with my mouse and when I do this um, it's just playing each frame I give it so that's another way of playing frames or playing movies within um, gem I can scroll through each frame by using this number box or I can turn on and off the toggle using the auto dollar one message um, uh, what I'm going to look at now is though how we could take in sound and use sound as an input to um, play a movie file and um, to do this we have to use an object called the ADC object which stands for audio to digital converter um, I also have to make sure my volume is turned on and um, our compute audio is turned on in my PD window so if you look here I'm going to make sure I have compute audio turned on um, then I'm going to put an ADC object which stands for audio to digital converter which means it's a microphone as in it takes in audio and converts it um, to digital information on the computer in real time. I'll put a toggle on top to turn it on and off. Put toggle 
um, and then I have to use another um, object put object and this time it's the envelope follower but we write E N V and then tilde any object that uses or works with audio specifically within PD always has this tilde after the object it looks like a sideways s and this is um this is used to signify that we're working with audio um so if i put a number box underneath the tilde so or put on under the envelope follower put number we'll we should see some numbers coming out and this is basically the volume level I'll turn this on the volume level of me speaking um, when I stop speaking it should go down so envelope follower measures um, takes a sound wave and takes the mean of that sound waves or measures the sound waves and comes up with a number to represent the frequency or how loud or low the sound is so if I whistle we should see the numbers going up <laughs> Okay, so when I whistled, they went up to 80, and as I'm speaking, they're staying around, you know, the 50, 60 mark. If I stopped speaking, they'd go lower. Um, I can use these numbers if I want to turn on and off my video. And to do this, I can use basically the numbers and say, if my number um, reaches 70, so when I whistle, <laughs> or 80, um, turn on this auto dollar one here or turn on the toggle to play the video if I whistle again turn it off and what I can use for this is um, a little bit of math so I'll put an object and I'll use the greater than so if greater than um, 70 I'll say and uh, what this does or what greater than does well we'll see when i put a number boxes but when the number goes to greater than 70 it sends a one so if i whistle now we should see a one come out of here um when this number is greater than 70. so you can see there when i was whistling this number changed to one i'm going to do it again um so i'm going to whistle now and watch okay the number changed to one there so then if I use the select object and tell the select object to select one um, out of this greater than 70 so I'll put an object and cell one and what select does is when it receives a one it sends a bang so this will mean when I whistle this number will change to one this will send a bang and if I connect it to the toggle it will turn the toggle on or off every time I whistle um, so I'm going to do it now it's playing if I whistle again I should go up to 70 and it will stop playing Okay, I coughed, it worked. Okay, it takes a little bit of tweaking, but you get the message.